Hi, Jason Keeler here, the property review show for property addicts like you and me. Thank you for joining me. We look at property here and around the world all the time. And we also sell mugs for the property review show. This is for real nerds. If you're a property nerd like me, a geek, property geek, then get one of these on the link below. Now, the property review show today, looking at Beverly Hills 90210 at a property by Archibald Quincy Jones. And you're thinking, Quincy Jones, isn't that Michael Jackson's producer? No, this is Archibald Quincy Jones, the architect, uh, died in 1979, and this is one of his creations. Let's take a look, $21.5 million. Let's take a look around, Chuck, and see what we can see. In the pool, we've got the jacuzzi mix, very clever. We've got that alfresco area out there, barbecue area, then this awesome pitched roof from the day that uh, Mr. Archibald Quincy Jones was about designing things in the 70s. And here we have it. Isn't this fabulous? Look at that. As we head on through, loving the foliage too. Nice upgrade on this place. And steep driveway, but lovely lush gardens. And they are indeed beautiful gardens. As we head on through, seeing that pitch roof at the back, but loving these almost Japanese type uh, almost Japanese type uh, entrance. If you've seen properties in Japan, this is very similar in style and it may be influenced. And then we've got the uh, the frogs jumping around here. No, I can't see any, but we've got the ponds going and we've got one, two, and then we've got this lovely water feature here dropping down like a waterfall almost. And then amazing timber all the way to the ceiling. Glass to use as well with the black framing, which is all back in fashion these days. Look at this walkway. This is one heck of a walkway with the solid stone all the way along here. Splitting apart. Frosted glass for privacy. It is just beautiful. CCTV up here. Palm trees and trees in the back. It all comes together for a beautiful home. The pots there too matching. And there's that pitched roof. The feature of the home. This is the cellar from Archibald Quincy Jones with his incredible architectural design. Six bedrooms, uh, eight bathrooms, 7,808 square feet. It's looking good, Beverly Hills, and this is a wonderful home. It almost think, makes me think of a ski chalet, but of course it's in the wrong part of the country for that. Glass table over here on our left. Uh, some photos probably of the famous person that lives here. Lovely pictures on the right. And that stone floor all the way through. Liking it a lot. That is a cool floor as well. Do you like this green sofa here? That is just nice. I mean, I like it. And I hope you do too. Then we've got a leopard uh, chair turning up to mix it up. And then the statue. So we've got quite a bit going on here from interior design point of view. And then the cell. The big ceiling with the big glass wall. Just fabulous as we head on through this amazing... Oh my gosh. Here we are. Austin Powers. Eat your heart out. This is an Austin Powers baby room for sure. Look at all the colors here. Vibrant. And the qualities of fabrics here from all around the place. Looking fantastic. The striking lights on the left. The fireplace on the right. Gas fireplace. And then the timber ceiling popping into this home, which is just a wonderful example of uh, good, good real estate for sure. As we look around this amazing home in 90210, we stop at these photos because this is what impresses us. Look at this, just beautiful. As we head on through, looking at another angle here with these eggshell type uh, chaise, it almost looks like to me, looks like you can lie down on that one, put your feet up here. Nice design again. And someone watching this will know exactly who made that. And then lots around, a big cabinet here with a feature in there. It'd be interesting to see if we can see what's inside that cabinet. Bit of a reflection on this photo. And then look at this uh, lamp. Look at that up there. I was going to say the lamp on the left is just exceptional. And then uh, this amazing uh, lantern type light fixture up in the ceiling. Then these egg style shiny bright objects. Yes, for people who can't pay attention for too long. Look at them here. They are shiny bright objects for sure. And it's just so nice. What a lovely setting there. And that all with the backdrop of that ceiling and this amazing 70s style kitchen there too. Into the bedroom. There's that Japanese image we were talking about out in the uh, courtyard walkthrough. And we're seeing it here in this room coming together as we look on through. Very, very nice indeed. Loving it. Four post to bed and the doors out to the balcony area. It's very, very nice indeed, for sure. As we head on through, 
let's uh, keep on going as we uh, look at the skylights here. Lots of skylights in this home. You can see the one above the kitchen here. Uh, and amazing colored chairs. Look at these uh, stools here. Just amazing uh, color. And then this uh, completing stone top here coming down the sides and flush to the sides. Very nice. Security cameras on the left. Rather obvious here. Rather obvious uh, in that position. But maybe that's that must be incredibly important to these people. And then the cedar-type finished uh, uh type finish cabinetry there it's a very old original style all of this you can see it's all original and then this new bench top here with the double sink and the very nice uh, wine fridge there too on the right into the outdoor alfresco area we've got concrete finish here we've got a concrete uh, table and uh, we've got this louver style uh, rooftop and then lovely foliage but look at the herb garden here you're ready for your barbecue your herbs are straight underneath this glass table it's impressive i like that too and I hope you do as well. Lemons out there, citrus to boot, and it's all happening out in the garden, which is incredibly practical for a posh neighborhood. There's the jacuzzi pool mix there. Very nice steps down into it. Uh, lovely tree-lined garden. Palms in the back, which is California. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the magnificent home of Archibald Quincy Jones. Sorry, one of his design homes. The architect passing in 1979, but leaving behind a legacy of incredible architecture and this being one of those. What a great example of one of his homes. Pitch roof looking so good. That garden looking fabulous as well. There it is. A bit more of a close-up for you. Stunning indeed as we head on through out onto a balcony. Loving these very uh, nicely slotted uh, timber uh, planks here. Uh, Inter-slotted inter here throughout. And then this fire pit outside too. And we're looking out over the frosted glass. But look at the citrus again. Lots of citrus plants and a lovely palm on the right into the study lounge area. And uh, sliding door, uh, lovely and impressive skylight again in this room. And it looks like it could be a bedroom also. So we've got these double lights up here and a bookcase as well. All with that original cabinetry from the day. Wood floors here, so many upgrades in this house. TV in the back and uh, very, very impressive overall as a very large room. It's lovely. Lots going on there. Out to the driveway and a mature garden, as you would expect for a house of this age. Uh, but just, just impressive. Into there, look at that. Triple garaging, and that's practical for the modern-day millionaire needing to store sports cars and more. And there's the twilight shot there. That pitched roof with the Japanese walkthrough and all of this uh, concreted area. It's very nicely done in this spectacular home. And look at this statue here. Just incredible as you drive on up your driveway. There's so much to like about this home. It really, really does pop out. Hope you enjoyed that one. And we hope you'll enjoy uh, join us for the next property review. And just to let you know, the mortgage repayment's only $91,000 a month. Just a clinch. You know, just go for it. Just go for it. I'm Jason Keeler. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next show. For all those property addicts around, please join us for the next one. Looking at properties here and around the world. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.